my friends, how are you doing today? I am doing well. Well, this is an early video. Uh, I'm up early. I wanted to record something so I could post this so everybody can go out there and see what's going on. But yes, the truth is out there. The new Dollar Tree Blu-rays have dropped and they have released a ton of them. I hit three Dollar Tree stores yesterday. I'm going to put some live footage in here so you can kind of scan over what I saw because uh, I don't like to record in stores. A little bit busy. You got the manager floating around. Dollar Tree's really not that big, but I wanted you to see what I saw. Some stuff I didn't pick up. Good, There were good pickups there, but stuff I, I didn't pick up because either I already had it or because it was on DVD and I didn't feel like I needed it or on Blu-ray and I didn't feel like I needed it. But I did pick up some stuff. Of course I picked up some stuff. And if you can tell a lot of it is because I really, I am, I am, I'm trying to shoot this thing out as fast as possible so you guys can get down there. So, uh, did talk to a manager at one of the Dollar Tree yesterday and they officially dropped yesterday. Okay. So, so I mean, and I'm talking the Dollar Tree. I went, the first one I went to literally, I would say like 15 bins. It was almost like, um, like when they, when they released them at Christmas time, like when they, they released that many bins, well, not, not bins, the, the boxes, they released that many boxes and they stack them all up or line them all up. There was a lot to choose from. And I, and I tried it. There, there was a lot of people also. So I, I obviously I wasn't the only one that, that was kind of running into this or walking into this, but there was a guy on the side of me and I'm looking at, I'm looking at this guy and I'm like, I'm like, Oh no, man. I, I'm like that, that, I'm like this late, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, you get there and they get that one guy there and he's just picking. He literally had two piles, had to be, I would say maybe 10, 12 high of just blue, just Blu-rays, two stacks side by side. I'm looking at the guy. He's got, he's got a, a, a his, his mask on has a dog face on and, I, and I'm referring to this guy. I'm telling my wife, I'm like, I'm like, look at the dog face guy. The dog face guy has, has beat me to the, to the, to the Blu-rays DVDs and he's grabbed everything. I have no idea what he got. I had a hard time seeing what he had in the pile, but he was just happy from ear to ear. So that led me to say, Hey, we got to go check out some other Dollar Trees. And we ended up hitting two more after that. So I'm going to put a little footage in here so you can, and I'm going to, I'm going to slow-mo it so you can kind of look over and see what they dropped in these cases, you know what I mean? I try, I tried to record it so that way you could see, you know, what you might be looking for when you when you go out there. <sighs> so like I said, if I feel a little out of sorts, because it is really early, I'm really, I just wanted you to be, I wanted to be the first one to tell you that they have dropped. The Dollar Trees have, Dollar Tree Blu-ray DVDs have dropped. Whoa, my voice, my voice ain't even there yet. So, I got my bag. I did make up, make some pickups, as always. I pull them out of the bag. I tell you what I got. More than likely, I have no idea what's in these bags. Well, not, not that I know. Not that I don't know what is in the bag. Oh, you were the box. What was in the bag? But I do not know maybe what the movies are about. But the, the, the covers either caught my eye or it isn't even something that I've been waiting to try to get. For some reason, maybe you could tell me in the comments below. Anyway, so randomly, I'm going to pull from the bag. And then we can talk about it, and hopefully with the footage that I show you, you'll get a little bit of an idea of what the Dollar Tree has to offer this time around. Maybe when you're looking through the little boxes as I'm scrolling through them, whatever, you can have an idea what you're going to be on the hunt for. But I'm telling you right now, for some reason, I, three stores we went to, uh, the first one I went to, I mean, we're talking boxes galore i mean they, they were they were in three different sections in the store too which i've never seen this before i was like we we went to the the as soon as we walked in we looked over to the right where they don't know where they oh, my excitement my excitement levels to the roof anyway because i'm going i'm going again today we're gonna go we're gonna, we're gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna go look for some more i'm gonna i'm gonna go to a couple other dollar trees that we have in the area because i i really think that there's probably more out there that i'm that i'm missing but so i go to the first area where there's not normally dollar tree uh not Oh, this is gonna be a strange video. Whether you guess, you see, when you're a collector, the excitement when these weird things happen, you know what I mean? It's like Dollar Tree DVD Blu-ray day is is like me going to Disneyland to some people. You know what I mean? It's just <laughs> the excitement is, and my family knows it too because I walk in the store, they're like, don't look at anything else, and, and then they're, they're searching with me. You know what I mean? So anyway, so I go go to the first section. The first section is usually where they keep the batteries, and they have actually a, a, a caplet thing or whatever cap caplet and cap and cap full of blu-rays and dvds so I, I i got a little picture of that i think that's in the main my my main uh thumbnail thing is what the first thing i spotted 
So then as, as uh, I, I went to Dollar Tree, actually specifically going to get duct tape, okay? <laughs> so this, this is what happened. We, we, I had no idea that they dropped them. I went in to go get duct tape. That's what happened. And uh, then the wife's like, oh, look, they got Blu-rays over here. I'm like, and of course, the hot starts beating. I look over to the right. There they are. Start thumbing through. I find a couple, a couple of them, and one of them that I, I've been wanting to get for a while. I've seen them in other pickups that have been going on for a while, and I was waiting to find this title, and I finally ended up getting it. And it's probably a stupid title. It's probably something that you guys are gonna be like, "That really sucked," but the title caught my eye, and I and I wanted to get it on on Blu-ray. So then after I go that, I, I'm like, "Okay, this must be it." Only a little end cap, no big deal. That maybe they didn't drop. No, maybe this, maybe this is this isn't this wasn't the day. But they did have some newer stuff. I go over to the duct tape aisle. All of a sudden, the wife's like, look at the end cap over there. There's more over there. I'm like, what, what do you... I drop the duct tape. I go running over to the to the other section there. So I thumb through mostly DVDs over in that section. So I'm thumbing through all of them. So I'm like, nah, not, not, nothing much here. You know what I mean? But this is different. Kind of this got some different stuff here, you know, compared to what is normally here. Whew. Then I go around the corner to the place where they normally have the Blu-rays and DVDs. And I, I promise you, my friends, this was awesome i mean it was from the beginning of the aisle halfway to the like where they get the electronics type stuff and it was just little boxes box after box after box after box of just blu-ray and dvd and i was standing there and i'm like and, and first thing in my head i'm like i gotta get some footage i gotta get some footage on this stuff because uh so, some people question they, 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 they like oh did you really find that at dollar tree yeah like I, like i'm making this stuff up for what reason i have no idea i mean i, I I appreciate you guys watching, but, you know, I, I'm i excited about collecting. I want you to be excited about collecting. I want physical media to stay around forever. So, hey, go to your Dollar Tree. If you see something, go go get it. Run, run, run and grab it because you can't beat it. And I'm, I'm, I'm a little upset, too, because there was one, one title that I actually just bought on eBay. And I think I paid like $8 for it. And obviously, somebody bought it from Dollar Tree, probably. You know, this is my assumption. They bought it from Dollar Tree, and then they flipped it for like $8. And... They had so many copies of it, uh, and it was, I think it was a copy of Survival of the Living Dead. Survival of the Living Dead, I want to say that. I'm going to put a, uh, put a picture of it up here, but I believe it was Survival of the Living Dead, and it, it, you'll see it when you go through the, when I go through the scan thing, if I haven't put the scan thing already for you guys to see. But, um, yes, um, George Romero, Survival of the Living Dead. I wanted to get that to upgrade from my Blu-ray, uh, from, my, from my DVD to Blu-ray, and they had them there. So, let's get into the bag, Okay. I'm going to pick them randomly, and then you tell me what's going on. I'll tell you a little bit of a story, and we'll, we'll get going. Okay, first one is Nature uh, na Okay, nature Calls. Nature Calls. Now, this one popped out to me. I don't own this one on DVD, so this uh, uh, so this is actually a addition to my collection. And for a buck, we're talking some Patton Oswald, Johnny Knoxville, uh, uh, Patrice, Patrice O'Neill, and Bob Riggle. Okay, uh, Patton Oswald. Nature Calls. Okay, I, I do not own this. I have not seen this. But just the title alone, it, it looks like a funny kind of movie. You know, we got a Johnny Knoxville in it from Jackass. So this is probably something that's worth a buck. I'm, I'm guessing it's worth a buck. Comment if, it's, if this is a good one. This is something that I, I should pop in and, and enjoy. But Nature Calls was brand new. I've never seen this at a Dollar Tree before. So this was exciting for me to see. For the first time at the Dollar Tree. Next one is a movie called Sushi Girl. Okay, don't know anything about this. Also, this is probably one of them that's just it caught my eye because it gave me a Quentin Tarantino feel. It, I felt like it, it it reminded me of one of those uh, presented by Quentin Tarantino, which it doesn't say it was. It's not a. It is not a. a but it does have Tony Todd in it, the guy from uh, Candyman. Uh, and let me see anybody else. Uh, Mark Hamill. Uh, Luke Skywalker is in this. Okay, so uh, it, so my guess, fr first guess is the uh, Sushi Girl. Sushi Girl, it's got to be an American film because it's got Mark Hamill in it. It's got Tony Todd. Um, it's an action fighting movie. It's rated R. Um, don't know anything about this. Nothing about it except for the title, and it reminded me a lot of a Quentin Tarantino movie. So Sushi Girl was my next pickup. Wasn't super excited about it, but Sushi Girl. Tony Todd, Mark Hamill, come on. Okay, next one is... Now, I've seen this one before on uh, other people's videos. So this one is probably something that's been put back into the Dollar Tree, my guess. It's a movie called Distorted, starring... Oh, we're loose here, too. Uh, Distorted, starring John, uh, Christina Ricci and John Cusack. 
So this one is one that I've seen people pick up, and I was like, okay, well, I, I'd like to grab that too because I'm, I'm a John Cusack fan and a, a little bit of a Christina Ricci fan. You know, I, I have no problem with her movies. You know, I love her in Casper. Um, don't know what type of movie this is. Don't fear the lies, fear the truth. It's a DVD Blu-ray combo pack, and rated R, that's all I know. Uh, a buck. I mean, it... it you can't beat it for a buck. And I did not have it in my collection, so I figured I'd grab it. So we're on. So I ended up getting, what's that, three, three pickups so far. Okay, here we go. Next one is, okay, here we go. Uh, am I going to say, here we go a lot? Let me see. I don't know. Um, Two-Headed Shock Attack. Is that is that right? Yeah, Two-Headed Shock Attack, starring Common Electra, Brooke Hogan, uh, Hulk Hogan's daughter, and Charlie O'Neill. I don't know who the heck Charlie O'Neill is, but I definitely know Common Electra, and I definitely know Brooke Hogan, and I've never, ever heard of the two-headed shock attack. But if it's anything like Shocknado, it's got to be a win, okay? It's <laughs> in some Blu-ray. I've never seen this one at the Dollar Tree before, so this is maybe just one of the newer ones that they dropped off. But out of all the Dollar Trees I've gone, all the Dollar Tree drops that I've, I've been a part of, I have not seen two-headed shock attack yet, you know, so... Is it good? Is it bad? More than likely, it's bad. More than likely, it's a low-budget Shocknado movie, but for a buck, I, what a, you know, I can't pass it up. All right, next one, a movie called Silencer. This one I've never heard of before, but it caught my eye because it had Danny Trejo in it, which I like, Danny Trejo, and it also has Tito Ortez and Chuck Liddell, which is the, uh, uh, wow, I'm drawing a blank here, uh, I, I, I'm looking straight ahead because I have my ult ultimate fighting champions there. Yeah, the uh, ultimate fight UFC UFC guys. Yeah, uh, and I don't know who Johnny Johnny Messner is. Maybe he's from. Uh, I don't. He's probably the only one that's not a. Well, him and Danny Trejo are probably the only ones that are not. Uh, and I want. I want. I want to give the initials. I keep saying it. Okay, ultimate fight yeah. UFC participants would be my. I'll, I'll call it that. But. uh it looks like an action movie. Remind me a lot of that one that that um uh, was done with uh not The Rock, Stone Cold Steve Austin. He did this this movie there where it was almost like a uh, surviving the game where he was hunting people, and it kind of gave me that feel. So it's a movie called Silencer. Like I said, Chuck Liddell, uh, Tito Ortiz, and Danny Trejo. It's got, it's this has got to be worth a buck. Got to be worth a buck. Uh, okay, this is the one that I've seen in so many videos. But I have yet to see it in, in any Dollar Tree next to me. And, and it's just kind of a stupid title. It's, it's, it's probably stupid. It, it's probably not even in English. Because so, sometimes I run into these things. Like there was one called uh, Something in the Factory. Something in the... It wasn't Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. It looked like Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. It looked like Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. It had that kind of cover on it there. Got it home and it was a foreign film. You know, it wasn't. So this, I, hopefully that's not what this is. And this is... Help, I Shrunk My Teacher. Now, I know you've seen this one before, but I, I kept seeing everybody get this thing, but they would get it, and they wouldn't really talk anything about it. But uh, it just it has remembrance, remembrance, remem... It reminds me of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, and Honey, I Blew Up the Kids, and Honey, I Shrunk Ourselves, or whatever. So I figured I, I wanted to give it a shot, but I've seen a lot of people picking this up, but not really giving any review or saying anything about it. Um, it's rated... It's not rated. It's not rated. It's not rated, and like I said, it just it just looks interesting. I like I like those shrunk movies. There, and I was watching people get, it and I was like, I gotta find me a copy of that. And I seen it. I did see it a few times, but on DVD. I wanted the Blu-ray. I wasn't gonna go out and spend it, even though they're a buck. There's no need for me to go buy the, the DVD one week, and then a week after that, you find it at another Dollar Tree on Blu-ray for a buck, and then you go spend the buck again. You know, what I mean, it doesn't doesn't make any sense because I I won't keep the the DVD and. Bag is empty. Last one. Oh, scrap that. Okay, it was not the last one. Uh, <laughs> well, I'll throw this out there anyway. This is a little bit of a bonus for you if you're in the, the hunt for this movie. Um, so for a while, I've been looking for the new Wrong Turn movie, but I didn't want to spend the money that it was on eBay. And somebody had posted on YouTube uh, this week that Walmart had the new Wrong Turn movie for $9.98 or $0.88 cents or whatever that weird Walmart price is. Okay, so this was not, okay? 
I'm just shaking my head. I'm trying to should I say disclaimer. I just want to make it very clear that this was not a Dollar Tree pickup. But while we were, I did have, still have to get my duct tape. And be honest with you, I didn't want to pay a dollar for the duct If you know what I'm talking about, okay, because you, so you can understand the truthfulness behind this. If you're buying duct tape and you need to, because we're putting out air conditioners in the house, okay? So if you're buying duct tape and you go to the Dollar Tree, you get this little tiny roll of duct tape, which probably in my head was enough for me to do one window and I got to do like three windows. So I was like, we got to go over to the Walmart and we have to go get a real big roll of duct tape for $2.99. I got to splurge instead of it being a dollar. I got to buy a, a roll for $3 because it's, it's the, the, the Dollar Tree roll ain't going to cut it. So... On top of that was the end of my pickups for, for for Dollar Tree, and I ended up getting a copy of Wrong Turn. It's got the, the little Walmart sticker up there. This was not at Dollar Tree, so so please do not say, "Well, there's no way you found Wrong Turn in the Dollar Tree bins." I didn't. Okay, I went to go get the duct tape. I wanted to get this title for a while. eBay, the the flippers on eBay are selling this uh, between twelve to. Twenty dollars, you know what I mean, and I did not want to pay. I, I didn't know. Well, twelve dollars plus tax and twenty to twelve dollars plus shipping. And I did not want to spend fifteen dollars for this. I didn't want to spend twenty dollars for this. I, I hear it's good. Um, I hear it's not like the original, and it's it, it's kind of an odd remake because we're not dealing with, I guess, uh, you know, strange cannibalistic uh, uh, inbreeding family members in the woods. It's got a different kind of feel for it, but. Um, I finally found this, and, and the, whoever the YouTube guy was, I wish I, I wish I knew who it was, because I'd give him props for, for telling me that they did have this here, because uh, right away I'm like, nine, nine, nine ninety eight. There's, there's no way, this movie came out a little while ago, and why would Walmart drop the price to $9, and it's true, is that the tag at the Walmart, at the Walmart that I went to, it had, a, they usually have like, a, I think it's like a blue or whatever, this had a white tag on it, meaning that it was uh, like a clearance sale type thing or whatever, I guess they just wanted to get rid of them, whatever. But this was a Walmart pickup. This was not a Dollar Tree pickup. Uh, so I want to make that clear. So what happened was I, I picked it up and I, I didn't get a bag. I threw it in the Dollar Tree bag. So I don't want to mislead anybody. There is no wrong turn at the Dollar Tree. But if you want wrong turn for nine dollars for ten dollars plus tax, uh, Walmart does have it. But here are my pickups. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just wanted to let you know that they are out there. So get in your car, find your closest Dollar Tree, start checking them out because I'm telling you, they're there. And, and some Dollar Trees are better. I, I First one I hit, packed. I mean, packed. That's the one I had the, the three setups there, packed. Second one I went to, nothing i mean they had they they had that little bin thing they have in the front you know the big deal deal sales and they had like a, a bunch of uh pinwheel uh light activated pinwheels or whatever and like one row and just basic stuff that i've oh i i've pretty much seen but they did get a shipment in there but it was it was a lot of basic stuff that i already had and then the last we went to they had quite a bit but this was all from my first pickup first first place i went i didn't buy anything else from the other two because they just didn't have as much as the other two had but whatever that guy had in his two giant piles they were i'm telling you right now they were all blue i don't know if he was buying he, he may have been buying multiple he may have been buying multiple to flip them okay he might have been that flipper guy that that drives me cuckoo you know what i mean the one that makes it almost impossible for me to to get stuff from my collection because he had a lot i mean and, and he you know even though he had the mask on you could tell by the squinty eyes that he was happy you know I, i'm telling my wife like look at the dog face guy he's, he's got he's got two giant piles there because he was ringing out and my wife just saw the one pile and it was like a pile of 10 or 12 or whatever but i told my wife I said no no that lady already rang out another pile. So he got two giant piles of blue. So we're getting in the car and we're going to another couple places to go see what they got. But this is what I ended up with because the other two places were kind of a, kind of a bust. So I will be hitting the other two places. Now, I was also told on, uh, well, I wasn't told personally, but actually I, I was and wasn't. So one of the managers told me that the official drop was on the 11th, okay? Uh, a couple of YouTubers said the drop was on the 11th. So I don't know if, if these places, uh, if this one main place dropped it early and but i'll tell you if not within the next like a couple days or so keep checking your dollar trees call well, don't call them up because they're gonna lie to you you call i've called my dollar trees up before i'm like did you get your new blu-rays in uh yeah yeah we got them you get there and they ain't there okay they didn't unbox them they didn't put them out they're, they're not there but i got lucky at the first shot but i'm telling you whatever that guy had in his i don't know about you i don't know about you but it's eating me alive not knowing what he was doing there but i I'm hope 
I, I'm hoping, but I'm not hoping because I'm sending people out there to go get the Dollar Tree Blu-rays and I'm excited and I want you to be excited, but I don't want you to get there and nothing's there because people like this guy, if that's what he was doing, if he was buying them to flip, <sighs> you, you, everybody knows how I feel about that, okay? But he had a lot and, and I was like, we were like, oh, just, just this, this much late, you know what I mean? Like just, I, if I would have got there... Maybe about 10 minutes earlier, I, I, I would have been the first one to be able to check all of these things. And I would have been like, okay, well, you know, it's 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 whatever. You know what I mean? And, and I I only buy for myself. I don't buy them to flip. I don't buy them to, to hand out. There, there was a movie in there, and you're going to see it in the thing. I want to say it's God Bless America. Um, if you see this movie, get this movie. It, it is a good movie. I paid a lot of money for this movie not too long ago. Like I said, I think it's called God Bless America. It stars this guy and this uh, little girl. Um, I want to say it's um, Bill Murray's brother, but he's like kind of like, he, not to give too much away, but he's like almost like diagnosed. I think he's diagnosed with cancer or whatever. He's about ready to die. So he goes on like this killing binge and it was such a good movie. I saw the previews for it. I was dying to get it. And then I saw it there at the Dollar Tree yesterday. So you're going to see it in, in, the, in the video there. And I'm gonna I'm gonna put this video thing scattered throughout this video so you can see it maybe in the beginning maybe in the middle and then I'll run it slow at the end so you can look again I'll slow motion it so you can look and see what's in there but that God bless America I know I put it on top so everybody can see it because that was a good and for a buck that was a good movie if you have not seen that movie yet I, I believe it's called God bless America it's a good movie so my friends listen. Dollar Tree is dropping them. They're out there. I wanted to be the first to tell you. I don't know if I'm going to be. I'm going to try to put this video out, edit it, and put it out as fast as I possibly can. So please, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell button so when these drops happen again, you will be notified. I do have a manager at Dollar Tree that will, according to her, she will notify me when new Blu-rays are dropped. So hopefully this relationship we got going on right now will, will work out in my favor and your favor whatever because listen i'm here to pass on the love and i want you guys to be able to get the things that you want to get to add to your media collection so hit that like button hit that subscribe button and i will see you later